Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be addressing a question I get quite asked quite frequently, and that is how do I upscale all these videos and redo the audio and, re and remaster them all together? Um, so this is going to be part one of a three part series on this channel, like a little mini series um, of how I do it. Uh, this is going to be the audio portion. And this is just going to be a part of that, of my process. Um, this is just so I see you guys a measure correct amount of time. Because the full process will take about two or three hours depending on the project. So this is just an intro on how to do it. Um, I'll show you how to do it. So um, we'll listen to it before and after. I, I remaster it with this program, um, but I just do this before I check it into Audacity, I think, uh, and go from there. Um, this program has a four minute, four or five minute time limit, I think. I might be wrong, but we'll see. Um, so we're gonna start with this uh, very compressed uh, 128 kilobit per second um, mp3 file called Walnuts. It's a no copyright song and it's being played through the headphone jack on my MacBook. And so nothing crazy fancy and it's anything I scored to a Aviva Helsinki. Um, no, Aviva Reykjavik in the background. It's similar to JBL uh, Charge 5. So I guess I'll turn the volume up. Alright, so pay attention, pay attention to the highs and the mids and the, and the lows. This is a highly compressed, uh, complex song. So you're going to go into this, this uh, website called Mastering. It's a free website and you don't even need to log in. Um, it's AI Mastering. Uh, I'll leave it in the description below. It's fantastic. It uses AI and it's by far the best one I've tried out. It does have a limit, as I mentioned before, um, but we'll upload our, our file that we just downloaded. As you can see, it's uploading right now. And upload speeds are reasonably quick for for a free service. There's no like limits or anything. There's no accounts required. Um so you can set it okay, so this so so there's easy where everything is fixed and it does it automatically. Um but I find the best it results are with custom. I sent mine to YouTube Audience, but you can do it ever. So for the sake we're going to do this and I set, I'll always set our sampling to two times it's slower but it sounds better
And then set it to the format you want. For this case, we're going to do wave 32 bit. And then we're going to upgrade the free, high cut frequencies. Now it depends on the application, so do it as you see fit. And then you can set advanced options. I use the version 2 algorithm. As you can see. Um, so just do that. So we'll hit execute. And as you can see, it's going fairly quickly. And the remaining time on this website is never, ever accurate. Um, but there's once again my accounts. Uh, you, you can see I'm signing in as a guest. And so about... We have a couple of seconds left, and then it should be done. Um, yeah, it's uh, this. This is the best way to do it. Now there is a limit, um, but there is no daily limit, so you can do this as many times as you want. So I do that, and then I combine the clips into Audacity, and then export them as a flag. Yeah, so that's why my projects usually take forever in a day, so there's usually like a little limiting error. This one is for point six D B or done that is So this is the original. Okay. And there's a remastered. So you can tell there's already a lot more information, it's a lot crisper, and it's a lot more detail rich. It's not just um, over sharpening or um, adding, adding, adding extra um for basic trouble, it's actually adding information. And then here's like the whole readout of everything that you don't need to know. But yeah, that's how I do it. I'll link that in the description below. Um, that's how I upscale all the audio to proper modern standards, even from the crappiest, it'll, it'll usually do it pretty well. And plus, it's, it's used to train the AI to get better. So I really like the service. It's great. It has let me down once. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. So stay tuned for more um, information coming forth from the series and how I upscale the footage. Um, the next one is how I upscale um, video from four from like. Um, 480p or 320p uh, to 4K or 4K to 4K60 and then the next one after that is Hydro 8K HDR
So stay tuned. A lot of exciting things are coming.